How to deal with difficult people? Dealing with difficult people seems impossible but is not so hard. Learn how to deal with one. Take responsibility. First, take responsibility for your part of the interaction. Animosity is created in your own heart. Even the most impossible person had a mother. She was loved by somebody. If you can deal with your own reaction and take responsibility for it, no step is more productive. Detachment is always the best response because if you can interact without having a reaction, you will be clear-headed enough to make progress in relating to this difficult person. The cause. Next, try to name what specifically causes the difficulty. Is the person clinging, controlling, competitive? Clinging types want to be taken care of and loved. Controlling types have to be right. There is always an excuse for their behavior, however brutal, and always a reason to blame others. Competitive types have to always win. What works? Clinging types can be handled by showing them how to deal with situations on their own. Give them responsibility. Instead of doing what they want, show them how to do it. This works with children and clinging types are children who have never grown up. The stronger and more capable you act, the more they will cling. Finally, find situations where you can honestly say, I need your help. Either they will come through or walk away. You will probably be happy either way. Controlling Controlling types can be handled by not acting intimidated. At heart, controlling types fear that they are inadequate and they defend against their own insecurity by making other people feel insecure and not good enough. Show that you are good enough. When you do a good job, say so and don't fall for their insistence on constant changes. Be strong and stand up for yourself. Competitive Types Competitive types are handled by letting them win. Until they win, they won't have a chance to show generosity. Most competitive types want to be generous. It improves their self-image and competitive types never lose sight of their self-image. If you have a strong disagreement, never show emotion or ask for mercy. Instead, make a reasonable argument. Self-important people Let them have their say. You can't shut them up. Mostly, you can ignore their contribution, however. They tend to forget what they said very quickly. If they domineer to the point of suffocating you, stay away. The best strategy, the one used by those who actually love such types and marry them, is to sit back and enjoy the show. Chronic Complainers These people are bitter and angry but haven't dealt with the reality that the source of their anger is internal. Your only option is generally to put up with them and stay away when you can. Don't agree with their complaints or try to placate them. They have endless fuel for their bitterness and simmering rage. If you like this video, please share it and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.